This is how the vaccination centre in the town of Lohansi looked last month. An empty sports hall requisitioned by the mayor and ready to be turned into a vaccine hub. The injection booths and consultation areas have since been set up, but there's still nobody here. Problems with the supply of vaccines mean the doses allocated for the town have been diverted elsewhere. For the mayor, frustration over the slow process and there's no fixed date for when he can open the centre. The feeling here in this town is when everything has been done, everything, with all the logistics, all the healthcare workers, the elected officials, when they're ready to create something exceptional, we're obviously frustrated, we are annoyed, because when we promise something to the people, we have to take responsibility and keep our promises. Josiane was due to get the shot this week, but instead, she's now back on a waiting list. I'm really disappointed that the vaccination centre is closed. I made an appointment to go a long time ago, calling City Hall, and I know the mayor has done his best to get the vaccines. I really needed to get vaccinated, so I'm anxious, having to wait without knowing when I can get the jab. As the vaccination programme has hit a roadblock, so too has this electric car. It was meant to be used to reach vulnerable people who cannot come into the centre. Now it's parked and out of use. There are 15,000 people in the town of Lohansi and 2,500 of them are over the age of 75 and are eligible now for a vaccine which has still not arrived. The government paints an optimistic picture with new vaccines coming on stream soon, but the reality is interrupted supply chains, debilitating logistics and vaccination centres which are ready but not able to be used. The Prime Minister says the first injections of the AstraZeneca vaccine will take place from the 6th of February. And all care home residents in France will have received their first vaccinations by this weekend. The government hopes that overall 4 million people will get their first jabs by the end of this month. But in the eastern Paris suburbs, that message of positivity is clouded by a picture of delay and disruption. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Le Chancy, Eastern Paris.